Alright guys, so we are back. Back in black. It's been actually a couple of days since I was playing. And... So I had gone back to my apartment complex to do some inventory management and found that there are some different things going on here. Are you a journalist? No, but she was. And she had enemies. I hear there's been a series of these. That was right, that shit is so I problem. know all about it. You have to tell us. Let them get Do away with this. Favor, right? At least she pretend won't to, to look for I give up. Excuse me. Please. I Did they send you to protect me? Hopefully. But I also think we... I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed. Just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... You're not a cop, are you? Uh... Hmm... I was once. I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Oh, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He, he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? Hmm. It might. You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either, but that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may, it's still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was, and you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Sure thing. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Talk to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? Uh, cuz I'm awesomer and the police suck. Maybe tomorrow. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? 
She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. Hmm. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operator. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Good deal. I like you, Detective Montag. Who do they think they are? Away from the crime scene, sir. Excuse me, but I have permission, sir. Broken needle sticking out of her right shoulder, so she was drugged, probably. Just because Montag trusts him doesn't mean I do. Partial fingerprint. Nice. Okay. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her. Cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Hmm. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Uh, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. 
there was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Thanks, lady. Okay. So let's see. We've got. We're not doing that right now. Um... Exhaust all evidence. Hmm. Down augmentation. These assholes oh. try I think you found something. Mm. Cutting marks above her arm. Something. EMP used to disable electronics. matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti-Alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? Hmm. <laughs> it's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. 
I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. Hmm. Gruesome, isn't it? I'm not Montag. I don't need your help. Okay. You can go ahead and be a bitch. Part of a pair of glasses. But it didn't look like she wore glasses. Although maybe she did. When she wasn't on camera or in photos. Okay, so we've exhausted all of that. And now we need to... Visit her apartment. You looking at something? Oh yes, this again. Papers, please. Of course, officer. One moment. Transmitting ID scan. Got it. Everything checks out. You're free to go. Thanks. I don't know why we have to do that every time we get off the tingy. That's interesting. To each his own. Weird. Want to hear another one? The clockman's clock is ticking. Dvali henchman, huh? Good one. Come on, let's blow this place. Hey, I'm the funny guy, not you. Hmm. That's interesting. They're here. Where are you going? Johnny Gun, huh? Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gun? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? <sighs> Seems kind of like an asshole, but we'll try being nice. Angela's dead. Sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Angie didn't deserve to suffer. So you did know already? Your detective friend called. Told me to sit tight and wait for you, so... Here I am, sitting tight. Being cooperative. Hmm. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. 
Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. Hmm. What went wrong with your marriage? If you got divorced, then obviously something did. What are you, five? Adults get sick of each other. The ones that don't are just pretending. Lock any two people in a room, and they'll learn to hate each other sooner or later. It's the most natural thing in the world. So I'm actually surprised. And she held out as long as she did. You know, people say I'm not very easy to like. You don't say. So Angela left you, and you resented her for it. Resented her? <laughs> no. That's not who my resentment is directed toward right now. You resent me? Because I'm trying to figure out who killed her? Because you're treating me like a suspect. Because you're acting like you care more about her than I do. And mostly because you're the first human being to walk into my apartment and talk to me in almost a year. A year! And this is what we're talking about. I resent the situation. Hmm. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night. Her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. Made me feel you. Okay. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? Hmm. I've gone up against them before. I've seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well, I guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of death. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but uh, Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy's so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand. But I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. And then they told me what they want me to do and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. It hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. Belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you could kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, do you still think I killed Angie? Nope. Certainly don't. I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. Okay, buddy. No worries. Find compelling evidence. Compelling evidence. Well, we, I think we already found compelling evidence, didn't we not? Okay. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We are done here.
Okay. You should close your door, buddy. Random schmoes won't walk in on you. So that's cool. It's usually never the first suspect in things like this, so not surprising that it was not him. Also, it sounds like the people who were sort of pushing to not really investigate this wanted that to be the fall guy, so it was pretty clear it was not going to be Johnny. That way. The news just keeps getting worse. All right. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. About the case. All right, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this. I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well... The world's not always perfect. That's true. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... between you and me... Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. Interesting. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... Just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power, a reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. Mm-hmm. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just... ...to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Right, so... Do we have other sub-suspects? 
you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Uh-huh. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well... Suddenly, he's no trouble at all. Apparently, the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey, not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my <laughs> guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems different, calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. <laughs> Thank you for that, buddy. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as on? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. Yeah, but there's some stuffs. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something. And that she was strangled. Huh, a fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. Yep, unfortunately he doesn't have fingers, so... I'm assuming you know where augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing. Knew exactly what he wanted. Maybe Johnny wanted something to remember her by. Or maybe someone found a dead body and started cutting. There's a lot of scavengers around here. To them, taking an arm is like taking a wallet. Yeah, that could be. Didn't sound like it, though. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Needle, huh? Hmm. In which shoulder? The right shoulder, why? It's probably nothing. I just remember this other cop, Smolinski. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone following in the footsteps of an old murderer named, um, Zvobodka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. Some of the things you've been noticing, I'll be honest, they're starting to sound very familiar. Someone like you would probably say it's worth looking into. And how would I do that? Smolinski died in that police station bombing. If any of his files survive, they would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? 
Maybe Smolinski found something that can shed light on this maze. Hopefully. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. The riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. Uh huh. I found this press ID on the victim. Right, she was a journalist. Hence the scandal with Radko Perry. I still don't consider that proof of anything. I have what I need for now. I should go. That's fine by me. Okay. So I didn't think it was um, a good idea to finish the investigation just yet. Something is going to push okay. to attacking us. Yeah, I thought as much. So we've got some investigating to do. This can't be happening to me. <laughs> 